Hi, my name is Thomas Covey, Senior Cell Support Engineer of Sony Electronics, and I'm here to tell you about the new Sony PMW F5. The F5 is one of Sony's latest 4K cameras. It features an 11.6 million pixel Super 35 3 perf sensor. The beauty of this camera is not only can I shoot 4K with the optional AXS R5, but I can shoot beautiful looking HD images that are scanned from a 4K sensor. This uh, recording can be done in both MPEG-50 and our new XAVC 10-bit codec. By having this ability, you're able to do uh, several things. One, you can shoot in HD today. Uh, maybe you're not ready for this 4K world, although it's coming fast. Uh, or two, you can shoot both formats simultaneously. Now, some of the features on this camera that I'll be talking about today are done through a firmware upgrade. Sony.com slash 35 millimeter has our latest schedule for these firmware upgrades. The 2K recordings both internally and to the R5 recorder are part of those firmware upgrades as is the SR file based recording at uh, both 220 and 440. Uh, the 220 being a 422 and the 440 being a, a 444. Built-in ND filters give you three and six stops of ND. Sony's unique lens mount using the FZ mount allow the use for not only the PL lenses, of which uh, Sony does offer as well, an entire kit with six lenses, but also third-party adapters that allow you to go to uh, Canon and Nikon DSLR lenses as well. well let's just heat a little caution here when we mount our uh, lenses on here. There are contacts that can be sheared off, so you want to take uh, special care in uh, mounting your lenses. If we move up here now, you see uh, one of the viewfinders available for this camera. Uh, there are actually three viewfinders available. We have a full HD 7-inch flat panel that you can mount on top of the camera. This is our new OLED design which has a 10,000 to 1 contrast ratio and uh, 1280 by 720 resolution. So as I put my eye up to the eyepiece, the viewfinder will activate. So it goes into a sleep mode when you're, when you're away from the camera. This, of course, prevents burn-in for this type of panel. Uh, the other viewfinder available would be our LCD, which is a 960 by 540. It's our highest contrast LCD viewfinder available to date. If we move along to the side panel of the camera, you'll, you'll see that it, there was a lot of care put into the design of this panel and that easy access buttons allow you to change settings on the camera very quickly. So here, as you could see, I'm moving over to my S-Log2. Uh, maybe I want to change my white balance over here. Now, I mentioned S-Log2. S-Log2 is Sony's new uh, log that captures even more dynamic range than the previous S-Log1. Uh, that, of course, was needed with a sensor like the F5, which can capture 14 stops of dynamic range. Of course, to record all of that information, you would definitely want to have the optional AXS R5 RAW recorder. In RAW mode, you're able to then take that into post and manipulate the picture and grab the highlights, the lowlights, whichever part of the image uh, that uh, you desire to have be prominent in your picture. Uh, internal recording is done via our uh, standard S by S cards for the MPEG video or using the higher bitrate codecs, you'll need to use Sony's new S by S Pro Plus cards. Uh, there are two card slots. Uh, you can record uh, seamlessly from one card to the next. Uh, so that allows you to do continuous shooting throughout the day. Let's spin the camera around and take a look at our audio. There are two XLR inputs here. Uh, of course, this module uh, does need to be mounted when you pull the camera out of the box. Uh, this, uh, again, will accept AES-EBU via firmware update. The F5 has uh, four SDI outputs, uh, two of which can, you can add character. Uh, time code in Genlock as well. The new Overline battery system charges twice as fast as traditional lithium ion batteries and also has a life cycle that's double 
the traditional battery as well. For more information about the Sony PMW F5, go to fullcompass.com or contact your Full Compass representative.